Section 6.3, complex fractions. Complex fractions are defined to be fractions over fractions. So complex fractions are fractions over fractions, such as these guys. These are the examples of complex fractions. How do you read these? One half divided by three fifths. One minus one third divided by one half plus five over six. Six X over Y squared divided by three Y over five. X plus five over Y divided by one plus X over Y. So in all these uh, examples, this guy is called main fraction line. Okay. So what's the objective of this uh, section? to change the complex fractions into proper fractions. Suppose we are given this complex fractions, let's say one half divided by three fifths. The usual way to do this is one half divided by two fifths, um, excuse me, three fifths, which is one half times five thirds, which happens to be five over six. Well, here's the alternative way to do this. Find the lowest common denominator of these little fractions, which happens to be in this case, the lowest common denominator of two and five is what, 10? Multiply top and bottom of the main fraction line by the LCD. So in this case, multiply top and bottom by 10. On top, you get five. Five goes into 10 twice. Two times three is six. Notice we got the same answer. Basically, this is the method we're going to follow because this one is uh, it's going to take uh, longer and sometimes it's just uh, too many steps involved. So the best way to do this to get to the answer as fast as possible is to find the lowest common denominator of all the fractions in problem. So in this case, the first thing you do is change the whole numbers into a fraction and find the lowest common denominator of all these little fractions. In other words, what is the lowest common denominator of one, three, two, and six? So it looks like it's six. Next step is multiply top and bottom of the main fraction line by the lowest common denominator, correct? So in this case, you multiply top and bottom by what? Six. What's the next step? Next step is remove the parentheses like so. Okay. When you do, you will end up with six minus two over three plus five. Answer four over eight, which is one half. Final answer. Do you all see it? Right, six times one third is two, six times one half is three, six times five over six is just five. So this is the best way to what? To uh, change the complex fractions into proper fractions. Next, we have algebraic fractions. So once again, this is your main fraction line. Find the lowest common denominator of what? Y squared and two. The lowest common denominator of 2 and y squared is 2y squared. So that would be step 1. Step 2 would be what? Multiply top and bottom of the main fraction line by what? Lowest common denominator, which in this case is 2y squared. <laughs> so when you distribute the uh, Else, the next step is, of course, remove the parentheses. These guys cancel. So you get what? 30x. Here, the twos cancel. You get what? You get y to the power of 5. Final answer. Okay. The next uh, problem is x plus 5 over y divided by 1 plus x over y. The first step change the whole numbers into fractions by giving a denominator of one to them 
okay, such as this guy is a whole number, so divide, uh, change it to a fraction. This guy is a whole number, change it to a fraction. The next step is find the lowest common denominator of all these denominators, which is one, y, one, y, which happens to be y. The next step is multiply top and bottom of the main fraction line by what? LCD. So in this case, the lowest common denominator happens to be y. Next step, remove the parentheses. Remove the parentheses. When you do, you get xy plus 5, the y's cancel here. y plus x, the y's cancel. Final answer. Correct? The next problem is 1 minus 3 over x divided by 3 over x minus 9 over x squared. Once again, the first step, change the whole numbers into a fraction. Correct? If they are not a fraction, give a denominator of 1 to them. The next step is find the LCD of all these four little fractions, which is 1x, x, x squared. LCD is x squared. Multiply top and bottom of the main fraction line by LCD, like so. Okay. And now the next step is remove the parentheses by distributing the LCD to the top and bottom of the main fraction line. So what do we have here? We got x squared minus 3x. Here we got 3x minus 9. However, sometimes you may have to what? Uh, reduce this. Um, factor out the top by factoring an x. Factor out the bottom by factoring out a 3. And what do you know? These guys cancel, so the final answer is x over 3. Do you see it? This last one is like you give a denominator of 1 to 1. Find the lowest common denominator of these three fractions. So the lowest common denominator, because x plus 1 and x minus 1 are prime factors, happens to be their product. So that would be like LCD. Now multiply top and bottom by what? Uh, the lowest common denominator which you came up with. In this case, x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay. Times what? 1 plus 1 over x plus 1, and then x plus 1 times x minus 1 times 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. Next, distribute the what? LCD to remove the parentheses. And when you do, you end up with, let's see now, x plus 1 times x minus 1, plus here the x plus 1's cancer, so you get x times x minus 1. Up here, the x minus 1's cancel. So you get x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. Is that right? Next, no cancellation at this point. What you do, you kind of distribute the x plus 1 by this guy and x by this guy to remove the parentheses. So what you get on top is what? x squared, what, minus x plus x minus 1, plus x squared minus x over x plus 1, 2x plus 1. Remember, we do not remove the parentheses from the denominator, only from the numerator. Okay, so what do we have? Well, these guys cancel, and x squares combine, so you get 2x squared, Correct. Minus x minus 1 over x plus 1, 2x plus 1. Now, see if you can factor out the top. Okay, the top might factor into 2x. X, let's see now. What do we have? 1, 1, 
let's see now, minus plus. I think that should do it because that's negative 2x and that's positive x. That gives you negative x. Negative 1 times positive 1 gives you negative 1 over x plus 1, 2x plus 1. Now that you factored out the top, now it's time to get rid of the common factors. So 2x plus 1 divides into 2x plus 1 once. So the final answer is x minus 1 over x plus 1. Final answer. Thank you.